everyone, it's Jackie, and I'm here with my very good friend April. Hi everyone! Also known as Cook with April here on YouTube, and today she is going to show me how to make crepes here in my apartment, and I'm super excited. As you guys know, I don't really know how to cook that much, so she's here visiting for the weekend, and she stopped by to show me a awesome recipe. So. We actually filmed this and there was no audio so we are filming an intro right now for you guys and we're just going to do a voiceover and yeah that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy this crepe video and please don't forget to subscribe to Cook with April and I don't know, do you want to say anything else? Hi everyone! <laughs> <laughs> yeah so Jackie, um, we actually filmed the video already and Jackie is an amazing cook so stay tuned and watch Jackie cook. Okay. Bye! Bye! <laughs> you did so good when you flipped it <laughs> Isn't April so cute? So the first thing we're going to do is turn on the heat to medium low and we're going to add a one and a half teaspoon of olive oil. You can use vegetable oil. You can use like whatever oil. Um, I'm using olive oil here. And then you want to evenly distribute that all over the pan and then just let that warm up. And while that's warming up, we're going to start with our mix and I'm going to add in two eggs and then mix that together. Do you, do you mix eggs or do you beat them? I don't know, but I'm going to mix them together. <laughs> Just like that. And now moving on, I'm going to add one cup of milk into our mixture. And then again, just continue to mix that. And just keep on mixing. And now we're going to add in our flour. And April was so sweet enough to already have everything measured out for me already. So you're going to take two thirds cup of flour and you're just going to pour that in. And now you just want to mix everything together. And this actually kind of took a while to mix everything and get rid of all the bumps and lumps in the mixture. But you want to just keep mixing until it is smooth. And while you're mixing, you're going to want to go ahead and add a pinch of salt. And then just continue to mix. So here's a close-up of what the mixture should look like. It's getting there. So you should know that your mixture is ready when you have this liquidy type of consistency. And now we're ready to cook. Okay, so we're going to take a cup of the mixture and we're just going to pour it right into the pan. And you want to evenly distribute this all over the pan so that the entire pan like the entire surface of the pan is covered and I actually made mine way too thick so don't add as much as I'm adding but hey this was my first time so I, I still think I did a pretty good job <laughs> but you want to cover the entire surface of the pan and once you've done that just go ahead and let that sit and cook for a little and now that we've let it sit and cook for a little we're going to pick it up with a spatula. I think this is called a spatula. I don't really know. <laughs> but we're going to pick it up and having that olive oil in the beginning definitely makes this a whole lot easier. So you're going to pick it up and flip over that bad boy and now just let the other side cook for a little bit. And now that we're done we're going to just put this on a plate and we're going to decorate it. Yay I'm so excited. Okay, so for this part, you can be as creative as you want. You can put anything your heart desires. Um, we're going to start off with Nutella because we both really like Nutella. And we're going to take a spoonful and we're going to use the back end of the spoon. And we're going to rub this on to half of our crepe. See how April's crepe is so thin and perfect? Mine is like a fat pancake. Aww. <laughs> And now it's time to sprinkle your favorite fruits and we chose um, strawberries and bananas. So you're just going to place that right on top of the Nutella. And you can put as many as you want or as little as you want. But once you have the fillings the way you like it, you're going to go ahead and flip over the other side. 
Mine looks like a little taco or something. <laughs> but um, anyways, you're going to flip it over and then you're going to take the remaining fruit and sprinkle that on top. But I'm actually going to do a little something special. I'm going to put a spoonful of Nutella into a plastic bag and I'm going to microwave the plastic bag for like 15 seconds so that the Nutella gets really soft. And now that it's done microwaving, I'm going to cut off a little part of the end. And now I'm going to squeeze this right on top of my crepe and it's just gonna make me look like I'm a professional crepe maker. Ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh, how pretty. It would have looked pretty if I just left it like that, but I went a little Nutella crazy and I just drenched my crepe in Nutella. <laughs> And so once we have that done, you're just going to take the remaining fruit and put it right on top. Okay, so this is our complete craze and I'm so excited to go and eat them and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much, April, for coming and teaching me how to make this. You're myself. welcome. It was fun. Thank you. And April actually has a cooking channel. I know a lot of you may know her from her April Athena 7 channel, but she actually has a cooking channel where she makes a lot more than just crepes. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, the link will be down below. So don't forget to subscribe to her and give her some love. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you again, April. You're welcome. Have a great day, you guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a magical day. I couldn't forget that. <laughs> Bye. Bye.